is Alexandra and you're welcome to the perfect vocal show. You may want to give it a simpler name, so just call it the PV show. On the show, I am going to unravel all the mysteries that surrounds vocals, that buckles your mind. And I would also want to help you reach that professionalism level that you have so much desired to reach. Go nowhere, stick and stay. I'm going to be right back. This is by Aleph Production. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, today we just want to start right. A lot of people have been asking, is our voice an instrument? And I tell them, yes, it is. Just like the keyboard, just like the drums, just like the tambourine, just like the guitar, your voice is an instrument as well. But guess what? Here lies the difference. The keyboard the drums, the guitar, and all those other instruments will produce the same sound regardless the environment, regardless the state of the person playing it. The door you will hear from a keyboard in the morning will still be the same door you hear in the evening. But your voice is not like that. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that you may sound differently in the morning, sound also differently in the afternoon, and sound extra differently in the evening. Why is that? The reason is because your voice lies in your body and everything that happens to your body inevitably happens to your vocals. That means that if your body is in perfect state, your vocal stands a very high chance of being in perfect state as well. However, if your body is not functioning right, your vocals will as well not function right. That means that the one thing that a vocalist may want to pay extra attention to is the state of my body. So this is the first point for today. Make sure that whenever you have a vocal out put to do your body is rested enough because when your body is in good state having rested enough your focus is going to come out right the second thing you would also want to do is that ensure that your throat region that surrounds the larynx is well lubricated at every point in time that means that you would have to be drinking a lot of water the last thing I also want you to know is that you might you might want to be mindful of the things that you take in by virtue of fluids or even foods because whatever is going to go by the larynx by going down your digestive system is going to affect your vocals. Today, having started on this note, I think you may want to take some time off busy bee and give yourself some good rest before your vocal output. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. For some of us who don't like drinking a lot of water, just pay extra attention. Start drinking so much water and keep your vocals lubricated. And last but not the least, pay attention to what you're eating. In other episodes, we're going to be discussing your ear training exercises. We'll also discuss warm-up exercises that you should observe as a vocalist. We'll also discuss the things that you should be eating, things that you should be doing and shouldn't be doing, the various ways to sing in a live recording settings and also in a digital or in a studio or in close environment. But until then, stop paying a little more attention and give your vocal area some good refreshing ambience so that it can give off what you want to give off. Well, before you go, you may want to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to join our mainstream vocal session, which is the Aleph God Vocal Center, you may want to contact us on the number on the screen or email us as well. It's the perfect vocal show, the PV show. I'm Alexandra and I'll see you next time.